In an era where technology permeates every corner of life, raising a pig is no longer as simple as it used to be. It is no longer the image of a farmer taking the pig to the market, picking up each bag of mixed bran by hand and pouring it into the trough. Now, from the breeding stage to the time the pork reaches the supermarket, everything is controlled by modern technology, accurate to every minute, every gram, every breath. The journey begins at the breeding farm. Where sows are carefully selected from the best genetic resources. These mother pigs are not only healthy but also have high fertility. Raise their children well and are less likely to get sick. Each individual has a unique code. And is attached to an electronic chip to monitor for life day to on body temperature, heart rate, reproductive cycle and daily food consumption are all stored in the central computer system when it is time to mate. The AI system will automatically calculate the ideal ovulation time for each so. The artificial insemination process is carried out in a sterile room by technicians wearing surgical grade protective gear. Not a single drop of semen is used without microbiological testing. After about 114 days of pregnancy, also counted by the management software, the mother pig is transferred to the farrowing area. Here, each pig is monitored 24-7 by infrared cameras. As soon as the signs of labor begin, The system sends an alert to the engineer in charge's phone. If there is a risk of birth, the veterinarian is there within minutes. When the piglets are born, their body temperature is immediately checked. Their umbilical cords are cut. They are numbered and placed in a special nursing pen with a stable temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. Weak piglets are given supplementary milk. While healthy piglets are fed their mother's milk according to an automatically scheduled feeding schedule. Each pen has sensors that monitor movement and sound, if a pig is not moving or makes an unusual sound. The system will detect it immediately after 21 days. The piglets are weaned and moved to a larger pen, entering the growth phase. This is where the technology really comes into its own. The entire farm is thousands of square meters, holding thousands of pigs. But only needs a few people to operate. The automated system will adjust the amount of feed, drinking water, temperature, humidity, and smart ventilation, all controlled by central software and IoT sensors installed throughout the pen. Feed is no longer hand-mixed feed as in the past, but is precisely mixed for each type of protein, starch, and mineral according to each stage of the pig's development. Each time a pig steps to the feeding trough, the sensor will record its weight. Feeding time. And even water drinking frequency. If a pig eats less than usual, the system will give an early warning, helping to detect disease even before there are any external symptoms. Pigs are vaccinated regularly using an automatic injection system. There is no pig chasing. No chaotic screaming. Everything happens as a synchronized, quiet and precise chain. Every three days, all the health data of the pigs will be analyzed by AI to predict diseases. Optimize growth rate and control risks. When they reach a weight of about 100 to 120 kilograms, 
which is also when the system determines that the pigs are ready to be sold, the entire batch will be loaded onto a refrigerated truck and transported to a modern processing plant. Here, the pigs are brought into the quarantine area, ensuring that there are no signs of disease. Then the slaughtering process begins, but not in the bloody and squealing manual way you imagine. The entire slaughtering process takes place in a closed space, clean and fast. Machines perform most of the steps, from anesthesia, bleeding, cleaning, skinning, dissection, all programmed precisely to the second. The meat is then put into the sorting line, the robot will distinguish each part of the meat, belly, loin, shoulder, ribs, and automatically pack according to the standard weight. Unqualified meat parts will be transferred to the deep processing area, making sausages, cold cuts, ham, canned meat. The meat is vacuum packed, labeled with QR codes, stored in deep cold storage before being shipped to supermarkets. The pork fat is extracted to make cooking oil, cosmetics. The bones are ground into powder to make organic fertilizer or fish feed. The organs are processed to prepare dishes. No part of the pig is wasted, all become input materials for different industries, creating maximum economic value. From a small piglet in a brooding pen, after a few months, it has become dozens of different products, distributed throughout the market. And the special thing, the whole journey, from the breeding farm to the dining table, is tracked stored and all data is traceable. This is not just the livestock industry. This is a precise, efficient and sustainable food production chain, where technology meets biology, where robots work tirelessly, and where every piece of pork tells a story of human progress. Great. Here is the sequel, seamlessly connecting with the previous section, expanding on economic efficiency, differences from traditional farming, and modern pork market trends. The narrative still maintains the in-depth documentary style, attracting the audience, from an experience-based pig farming system, each farm has now become a large-scale food production center. Thanks to the application of modern technology, productivity has increased dramatically. If in the past, a farmer could only raise a few dozen pigs per batch, today, a closed farm can raise up to 30.000 pigs at the same time. with a survival rate of up to 97 to 98 percent, much higher than the 70 to 80 percent in the traditional model. Costs are optimized, labor is reduced to a minimum, only five to seven people need to operate a huge system, thanks to automatic machines. Feed costs, which account for 70 percent of total livestock costs, are also strictly controlled thanks to the nutritional quantification system. Each pig eats the right portion. Not too much. Not too little. Growth is even. Uniform and up to standard. A pig raised according to the modern industrial model can reach slaughter weight after only 150 to 170 days. Much faster than traditionally raised pigs which take nearly 7 to 8 months. This means fast capital turnover, high profits, and lower risks. Not only domestically.
Vietnamese pork has now begun to penetrate the international market. Japan, Korea, Singapore and China are demanding but potential markets. To enter these markets, pork must meet hundreds of strict standards, from antibiotic residues, freshness, bacteria content, traceability, to slaughter and packaging processes. Therefore, the modern livestock model is not only a game for large farms, but also a stepping stone for Vietnam to deeply integrate into the global agricultural value chain. However, modern livestock farming is not without challenges. The initial investment is very large, from the barn system, sensor equipment, management software, to the waste treatment plant. Each farm with a scale of tens of thousands of pigs can require hundreds of billions of VND in initial investment capital. In addition, farmers must constantly update new knowledge. Not only must they know how to raise pigs, but they must also understand technology, analyze data, and handle disease crises according to a scientific model. A small error in the operating chain can also lead to major consequences. From economic losses to food safety risks. On the contrary, traditional pig farmers are gradually losing ground. With fluctuating feed prices, disease risks, and no automated control system. Many small-scale farmers are facing prolonged losses. Competition in price, quality, and scale makes it difficult for them to survive without a strong transformation. In that context, Many provinces and cities have supported farmers to switch to a value chain linkage model, where farmers provide premises and workers, while businesses invest in equipment, technology, and consume products. This model both ensures economic efficiency and reduces risks, helping farmers not to be left behind. In addition, the pork market is also great. gradually changing. Consumers are increasingly demanding, meat must be clean, traceable, antibiotic free, and have safety certification. Products such as chilled meat, organic meat, vacuum packed meat, or even clean pork according to Japanese standards are becoming popular in large supermarkets. Not only that, many companies have also applied blockchain technology to the supply chain. Customers only need to scan the QR code on the packaging to know which farm the meat comes from, what it was raised on, what time it was slaughtered, and how long it took to transport. This transparency helps increase consumer trust and enhance brand value. In developed countries such as the Netherlands, Denmark, and Canada, high-tech pig farming models have existed for decades. Vietnam is gradually approaching that level, not only to serve domestic demand, but also to export and affirm its position in the international market. Do you want me to continue writing about environmental impacts, waste treatment, or future sustainable farming trends? Or I can add a comparison between Vietnam and other countries if you need to expand a few thousand words. Which direction do you want to continue? Modern pig farming is not just a story about productivity or profit, but also a thorn problem about the environment. 
When the scale increases to tens of thousands of animals, the waste produced each day also reaches hundreds of tons. Without effective treatment, just one large farm is enough to pollute the surrounding residential area. Therefore, today's high-tech farms cannot lack a closed waste treatment system, considered the second heart of the entire model. Manure and urine from the barns are collected by a system of under- ground collection trenches, then put into a giant tank. Here, the waste goes through a multi-layer sedimentation process, separating the solid and liquid parts. The liquid part will be led to the biogas tank, where anaerobic microorganisms decompose organic compounds, producing methane gas. This gas is not released into the environment, but is collected for use as a form of renewable fuel, helping to cook run generators or heat the barns in winter. The solid manure after being pressed and dried is processed one more time, mixed with humus, rice husk ash or decomposing microorganisms to create organic microbial fertilizer, sold to vegetable farms, fruit farms, or to improve poor soil. A mass of pig manure discharged, instead of being a burden, has now become a resource. In addition, Treated wastewater is all 